I'm going to add a pin holes, meaning wheel. Um, but I'd like to show you how I do that. Okay, first uh, I will try to find the center, the very center, and then uh, I can use that to draw the line cross all the way here. So there is 10 inches apart. I'm going to use a hammer to kind of make a dent there. So when my drill bit contact with it, there's a spot that easier for me, for my drill bit to find where to locate it. Using this drill bit cut guide to guide it. So this drill bit is slightly smaller than my other drill bit with the tapping the when I drill further this part here I will tap it into a quarter of an inch. So I'm changing the drill bit. Can go um, go through. Okay. So that's uh, very good. That my back pin can go through and stay there too. Okay. That's back pin. Um, like I said, that you see that the back pin is probably too long. I have to uh, cut it so it's not hitting the splash pan. It's hitting the splash pan, so I have to cut it shorter. That's why I, uh, I told you that I wouldn't use the, uh, the butterfly not to um, tie it. Instead of using the butterfly, I am putting the thread right there, right there where my, where I drill the hole, so that uh, I can just uh, screw my pepin on instead of uh, using the, the nut to tie it. It's done with the drilling and uh, it's fitting my back pins nicely. Cut it up uh, all the way here and right here. To be able to do that, you have to do the very accurate measurement. If not, uh, because usually the wheel that the hole, the pin holes on your wheel is slightly bigger than the actual size of the pin. It's a little bit wiggle room because adjust it so it will have a nice perfect fit for 10 inches apart. But for doing so, this has to be very accurate, otherwise your bed won't fit in there. And luckily the, my smaller bed, my smaller translucent bed, it's uh, smaller than that. If I'm using the uh, large one, the 12 inches, that is okay too, if you are not going to throw, throw with your splash pan because this will be too wide 
the splash pan is not going to hold when you have the uh, the wider than 11 inches 12 inches that is not fitting the splash pan but my smaller one my eight and a half inches wide that is fitting right here nicely okay fitting in nicely on this bin all right so i can throw right on here Let me put my put the splash pan on. The pin, like I told you that the pin is too long, so I have to cut it before I could put in my splash pan. So let me go ahead and cut my that pin is shorter. Cut it shorter. Right, a few moments later, I cut the, my long the pins shorter, so this part will fit right here without hitting the splash pan. Let's we'll see if it's hitting. Okay, so that's good. All right, so that's good. Get my here and um, it's fitting perfectly here get my splash pan on all right so the slot man okay that's good So we can throw right on my smaller bat here. And probably raise it up so it will be easier. And later I will do a test on how heavy can it handle. Okay. So that is the demonstration on how you put the bat pin here. Even that uh, splash pin, this part here is too high. You can just always cut the uh, pin, bat pins easily. Okay, use a Hacksaw to uh, to cut it, and um, so that your back pin will be shorter to to fit it in here. And um, that is my demonstration on how to put the pin holes for ten inches apart. If you have a shorter, smaller bed, maybe seven or six inches apart, you just do the same thing that I did. Draw a line, find the center, and then draw holes, and then put the thread there. If the splash pan is not enough room, you can always cut your back pin. And uh, make sure that uh, you're putting the thread, okay, the thread here. You can throw two holes, but make sure that you've got enough room for the length of your bed pins to go underneath. Otherwise, that it might hit your splash pan, okay. So just cut it shorter. Normally, if you have a um, regular wheel, you should be fine for Fitting using the butterfly not to just tie it tie it underneath, but uh, this is a little bit too small, so I am putting the thread, which is a little bit more complicated because you need to buy the drill bit with the thread, so you can tap it. This drill bit with the thread here, so you drill in the meantime. You also tap the hole there with the thread. So you could uh, just screw on instead of uh, using the nut, uh, butterfly nut, to, to tie it underneath. So that is the uh, drill bit with a thread for tapping. You can apply all different wheels if you have a wheel that is, you don't have pinholes on your wheel head. You always can create it by yourself. So thanks for watching and see you next time.